Hey traders, how's it going? Today we're gonna take a quick look at a tool that I use quite a bit. It's called TradingView. And for those of you out there looking for a pretty decent tool to track some of your portfolios, might wanna take a look at this. But the uh, website's tradingview.com and you kinda come on the main screen, <clears throat> which looks like this. And they'll have some you know, roll-ups for most actives, currencies. Um, quick charting doesn't look like much on the surface, but once you kind of put in a ticker, that's when the magic happens. So I'm putting in Apple here, and what it'll do is obviously give you the price action, you know, on that stock. Uh, but the tools in here are really powerful, and for a free platform, you know, it's kind of rare that you can find something like this with as much horsepower, uh, where a company's not looking to charge you for it. So let me just pull off all of my indicators here, and. Uh, Get rid of some notes. So fairly typical, you know, I'll keep it on there. It's a 200. Fairly typical, you know, screen here. It's very easy to kind of move back and forth, you know, going left and right. Um, pretty simple. You know, we're looking at the downtrend here as far as Apple. When I was doing a demo for somebody earlier, we're talking about uh, what happens after earnings. But, um, you yeah, know, I've got the MACD kind of pumped up below here. For those of you that don't know what the MACD is, uh, coming over on indicators, you know, there's a lot of different types of tools that you can use to kind of analyze the, the price action uh, underneath the stock. Um, in fact, there's there's quite a bit of them on here. And I always tell people starting out, you know, you want to have just the usual suspects on there. Don't get too fancy until you can really understand the difference between indicators that are used for momentum uh, versus those used for trading markets. But I have the MACD there. I'm going to put in uh, probably the RSI. Uh, relative strength index, fairly popular, and then you know, maybe something for uh, money flow on top of that. You see how they just populate right off the bat, you know, coming in there. And um, I'm also going to add on just from the regular price action since I'm showing the 200. It's very simple to just come in here, hit your indicator, uh, moving average. I hit it twice to bring in two of them, right? And you can see over here there's two that came in. Uh, they default to the nine for some reason. I don't know why. But I always like to have uh, both the 20 and the 50 <clears throat> showing on a stock. 20, put as my fast line. I'll put that in green for fast. And then come on over here, hitting the edit button so it lets me change the inputs. Change this over to a 50. 50's the slow line, so I put that as red. Bam. So right here, you have your, your, your typical setup that you use for you know looking at any stocks that are out there. Works on indexes, you know, works on pretty much anything you need to do. Um, I'm going to delete that here. So if over on the left-hand side, you can see there's a bunch of little icons here. If you hit the um, the right arrow, it shows you all the tools that are inside of this. Hey, look at all these indicators they have baked in here. They got the shifts, they got the pitch fans, all the retracements, all the fib wedges. Um, you can edit it, you can annotate it, and you can put an eclipse on ellipse on here. Boom. Say we want to focus this and look in here. Pretty simple. I'm going to delete that. Bam. Building a trend line is really, really easy to do. Um, let's say we find a trend line on this. Here to here, boom. You can put in your um, retracements if you want. Fibs just come right off of this. So you see how kind of easy this is to use. I mean, I haven't been you know trading for that long, but I've certainly found um, tools like this that are simple right off the bat. You know, they're 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 great tools when you're just kind of scoping around and trying to find some things that are interesting. What's interesting here to me on this MACD is this crossover on the daily for uh, uh, developed markets, which is kind of interesting. You can see I have daily up here, so you can change that to minutes, hours, days. Stick with days for now. I'll get rid of that uh, that fib. And then building your watch list is even, you know, even more simple. So just coming over here, create a new list. I'm going to call this demo. Boom. Brings up a new list, and you can just start bringing in tickers just 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 type them in um, get some other ones in here oops if you don't like it just delete it <laughs> like I just did there so um, along with the MACD and RSI's and MFI's they actually actually have an area where they have a public library uh, and these are indicators that have been built by uh, different members so if you're looking to get really exotic, this squeeze, a lot of people have been using this lately. I don't want to get into the mechanics of it, but uh, it's quite popular to see on people's charts. Um, you can have up to think like 20 different indicators running at the same time. 
uh, before they kind of call you up or at least you know, give you a warning that you need to uh, you know, register to get more of a membership to have those kind of things. But still, you know, having all this horsepower at your fingertips you know, for um, just, just a basic you know, um, platform that, that is free you know, is, is, is actually pretty interesting. So um, let's see what else we can do here to kind of make this interesting. Um, one of the things that you notice when you're looking at charts is a lot of times these things get bunched up and I'm looking for these indicators, right? So I've got my, my slow line, my fast line, and my 200, and they're real close here. I love it when you can scale it. So you just actually just drag up here to open that range up, right? And then you can still move it around and pivot it with your hand, which is really impressive. So now I can clearly see that my 50 is at 56.19, my 20 is at 57.34, and it's just barely over the 200 right now. So uh, that's it. So that's for TradingView. Hope this helps. and. Uh, Tuned for more demos as we kind of roll along here. Bye-bye.